Undocumented immigrants found dead inside sweltering truck. A truckload of undocumented immigrants was discovered by police in a San Antonio Walmart parking lot early on Sunday. Several were found dead due to heat stroke and dehydration in the triple digit Texas heat. Police are holding one man believed to be the driver in custody. A San Antonio Walmart employee said they encountered a disoriented man on July 23rd when he entered the store to ask for water. The employee then contacted police. Responding officers opened a trailer hitched to an 18-wheeler truck in the store's parking lot to find 39 undocumented migrants inside. Eight were found dead at the scene as a result of severe dehydration and heat exposure, with no air conditioning to relieve them in the 101-degree Fahrenheit heat. Another person later died at hospital. The man believed to be the driver, 60-year-old James Matthew Bradley, has been taken into police custody. He will appear in court on Monday to answer charges of human trafficking. Authorities say all the victims were taken to area hospitals, with several in extremely critical condition. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Getting across the U.S. border without papers is as tricky as it gets. Illegal entry spikes at Texas border. Migrants trying to get into the U.S. are doing so in droves recently. One Border Patrol veteran said it's because they're worried Trump will start building his wall once he's sworn into office in January. Recent months have seen an increase in the number of people caught illegally crossing into Texas from Mexico, from 37,000 in August to more than 46,000 in October. Detention facilities that used to see a maximum of 34,000 individuals are now holding 41,000, most of them families and unaccompanied children. The flood of illegal immigrants has led U.S. Customs and Border Patrol to send an extra 150 agents from Arizona and Texas to processing centers near the border. These agents will be screening and classifying the undocumented migrants, in effect freeing up local agents to focus on border security. A similar surge occurred on the South Texas border in 2014 after migrants escaped Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador to seek refuge in the U.S. More than 100 illegal immigrants found in Texas stash house. Four people were arrested on suspicion of running a human smuggling ring after police on Wednesday found more than 100 people from Central America and Mexico being warehoused in Texas in what investigators have called deplorable conditions. The group of people was being held inside a building measuring 204 square meters. The windows were covered with plywood and the doors had locks that could only be opened from the outside. As many as 93 men and 15 women were crammed inside the building's trash-filled rooms, with only one bathroom that contained a partially working toilet and no hot water. The building was surrounded by land where pigs, geese and chickens were being kept. The chickens were believed to have been used in illegal cockfighting. According to officials, there were also five children in the group, one as young as five years old. Fake U.S. Border Patrol car found smuggling undocumented migrants. In a win for U.S. Border Patrol, agents last Thursday busted alleged smugglers trying to get 12 undocumented migrants into the United States using a vehicle painted to look exactly like an actual Border Patrol SUV. On December 10, U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers from the Laredo sector near the Texas-Mexico border uncovered an apparent people smuggling operation that had modified a Chevrolet Tahoe to resemble an official Border Patrol vehicle. The cloned SUV, however, was missing the flashing lights used on Border Patrol Tahoes. It also kept the foot bar and front bumper which real Border Patrol vehicles don't use, as they're designed to go off-road. Agents noticed the irregularities on the suspect vehicle and pulled it over. Inside, agents discovered a total of 12 people crammed into the back of the counterfeit SUV. The Tahoe had been stripped of all of its rear cabin seating. Border Patrol told KRGV News the discovery is the first cloned Border Patrol unit discovered in recent memory in the Laredo sector. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. U.S. government plans mass deportation of illegal immigrants in 2016. The United States government is preparing for raids on illegal immigrants who have ignored removal orders. A government official told the Wall Street Journal that in January of 2016, the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Unit of the Department of Homeland Security will target and deport hundreds of families who have ignored immigration court orders to leave the country. 
A surge of gang violence in Honduras and El Salvador has led to an increase in the number of families trying to immigrate to the United States. In October and November of 2014, 4,500 people and family units were apprehended at the U.S. border, compared to 12,000 people during the same period of 2015. At the same time, deportation rates have dropped. According to the Obama administration, the number of people deported in 2015 was 25% lower than in 2014. Some mothers who cross the border with their children are forced to wear tracking bracelets to make sure they show up for immigration hearings. Arrests at the border in 2015 mostly involved Central Americans, including 79,800 people traveling as families or children immigrating alone, which is down 30% from last year. The plan for an operation to remove immigrants who did not comply with removal orders was not confirmed by Immigration and Customs Enforcement.